If you're someone like me who enjoys writing documentation, you'll certainly know how difficult and time consuming it is to create something from scratch that renders your content and all of the different MDX components. Well, recently I started to use Mintlify to recreate the Terso database documentation and I've had a blast. It's so cool, so easy to set up and it works locally as well. So I decided to create a short video to show you how you can get started. Here we can see on the Mintlify homepage that it supports a wide variety of different documentation types including guides, API references, SDK docs, and being able to chat with your documentation to get the answers from AI. We can also see lots of examples from others using Mintlify for their docs. Finally, it's got tons of different features and components that you don't need to create from scratch. To get started, we'll use our organization name and email. And once we sign in using the link via the email, we'll sign into GitHub. Then we'll create our documentation repository, and then we'll clone that repository to our local machine. Then, using the command line somewhere on my machine, I will run the git clone to fetch that newly created repository by Mintlify. Once inside this, we'll open it inside of our code editor, and here we can see Mintlify has scaffolded some pages for our documentation. If we open one of these MDX files, we can see here we have a title, description, and other components on the page. If we update this title, save it, and commit it to git, and push it to GitHub, then if we go back to the onboarding, and mark as completed, we should see now that Mintlify has detected those changes and deployed a new version of our docs. And here we can see that newly updated title. So this is the Mintlify documentation. We can see here we get tons of different components from card grids, links, icons, and pages. We also get things like accordions. Mintlify supports all of the usual markdown syntax that you're used to, code blocks, images, embeds, including YouTube videos, and it has settings for SEO and page navigation. Another great feature of Mintlify is that it's able to detect and use the open API specification belonging to your project. It can then use that to create documentation for all of your different API endpoints, including any required headers, body parameters, and the return type. Now we've seen how we could make a change committed to GitHub and see that change deployed automatically. What if we want to run this locally? Mintlify has great developer experience with its own Mintlify dev command. We'll need to install this globally using NPM. Then we'll run Mintlify dev, then instead of our code editor, when we make any change, we'll automatically see that updated inside of the Mintlify docs that's running locally. Now let's take a look at the open API specification for our API. Here we have an example open API JSON file that was created by Mintlify. But we can see here, if we update the description for one of the endpoints, that this automatically updates in the Mintlify documentation that's running locally. Then to use that open API spec inside of one of our pages, we can pass the open API inside of the front matter and point to the URL. We can also combine some custom content with these automatically generated pages as well by just providing the usual markdown to the file. Inside mint.json in the root of our project, we can update things like the navigation to include any titles, groups, and subpages, as well as any links to social media in the footer. We can also include tabs, anchors, and many more from one configuration file. Here's a quick look at some documentation for Terso using Mintlify. Here we can see we have some top level links and pages with many subpages. If we run the local Mintlify dev instance, we can then see when we open the documentation that we have all of our different markdown pages rendered using the Mintlify app. And we can see here we're using a wide variety of markdown components for card groups, accordions, code groups, and that all important open API specification. Then whenever you make a change, Mintlify will automatically deploy this to production. We can also use the app to edit any of the content and preview those changes before publishing. Lastly, you can view the analytics for your documentation and view all of the different search queries. This is also great for improving documentation. Since you can see all of the results that didn't return any results, you can then go on to further patch your docs to make the best experience for your users. It's free to get started for single users. And as you grow your team, you can upgrade to one of the paid plans, which also includes services to migrate your existing documentation. They also have a generous offering for open source projects. So if this applies to you, then make sure to check it out.